Our shining star Loxmi resides in cow dung new admissions patient update March 2008 care for cows in Vrind Devan CFC trustees Vraja Mohan Dasa Hayabalab Hadasa Amit Dhulani Rakesh Rahira patrons Radha Jivan Dasa Suresh Vajiani CFC staff Kermarupa Dasa Nanda Kaiser Dasa Siam Gauri Dasi Braja Gopal Dasa, Switzerland, Loxmi Rupa Dasi, Denmark, Isani Devi Dasi, Holland, Dr. J.P. Lavanya Satyadeva Singh Radha Karan Dasa Krishnamai I Dasi Siam Hari Vijay, Ramu, Santosh Newsletter Editors Kermarupa Dasa Siam Gauri Dasi Care for Cows in Vrindavana is inspired by A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada Founder Acharya International Society for Krishna Consciousness Dear Friends, Padmalakan was the first bull given to us and we accepted him knowing that it meant a lifelong commitment to go seva. Since he represents that commitment and the resulting inner satisfaction, he is special to us. Today the wind blew a large piece of straw in his eye and he blinked repeatedly trying to extract it. When that didn't work he brought his back hoof to scratch his eye but since it was covered with dung and sand, it only made matters worse. I approached the magnificent beast with intent to relieve his discomfort. As my hand approached his eye he clamped it shut concealing it well under the bulging muscles of his brow. I held his muzzle between my left arm and flank and pried his brow open with my right fingers and thumb. When I tried to intrude with my index finger, he withdrew his eyeball further into his socket making it inaccessible. He then got irritated and shook his massive head free rattling his bells and snorted threateningly. Lesson, no matter how noble your intentions, you can't open the eyes of one who's determined to keep them shut. Jayasri Guru Jayasri Gopala Jayasri Gomata. The CFC's TAF CA Refer Cows.org Care for Cows in Vrindavan is a charitable trust registered in India, USA, Holland, and Switzerland. Our shining star on arrival on Urata is lowered from the truck on an hydraulic platform. Medicinal ointment was applied down the spine to increase blood supply to the damaged nerves last month. A beautiful, healthy white cow we named on Urata arrived from the most sacred of sacred places, Sri Radha Kund. Like Bhagarati, who arrived two weeks earlier, Anuradha had a broken spine and her back legs and tail were paralyzed. Both cows had received their injuries by being mounted by a bull. Being unable to get up, Anuradha was given her own room in the sick bay where she was kept comfortable on Yamuna sand and soft hay bedding. As part of her daily program she was groomed, massaged, changed sides regularly to avoid bed sores, fed nutritious food, and given fresh drinking water every few hours. Anuradha had a great appetite, a bright and friendly disposition, and was a pleasure to look after. After only three weeks of treatment with homeopathic medicines for her spinal injury, she showed encouraging signs of Anuradha resting on pillows 12 hours before her departure improvement, her tail could twitch and some sensation was evident in her back legs. Then suddenly Anuradha fell sick, went off feed, and within 24 hours developed pneumonia. Dr. Lavanya treated her as a matter of urgency, and explained that with the change of season down cows are especially susceptible to cold, fever and pneumonia. Over the next week she was cared for around the clock and was a wonderful, cooperative patient. From the onset of her illness one lung was badly congested and beside antibiotic injections, Liniments were rubbed over the lung areas and she had regular sessions inhaling medicinal vapor. She was sustained by four fluids, and kept as comfortable as possible throughout her illness. During her last days treatment continued for her body, and for her soul she took Gunga water, wore Maha garlands and listened to Srila Prabhupada's bhajans. She peacefully departed from this world at 4.30 am February 28th under the Naksatra, star, of Anuradha, after which she was named. Anuradha's body was placed in samadhi and worshipped with incense, flowers, and other auspicious offerings. Piyushan Sushala update by October and the knee joint was stiff and as her cast was removed but her leg couldn't bend sensational results after one month of exercise. Sushala's leg was fractured in September 2007. Sushala tolerated having her front leg in a cast for 3.5 months, in an effort to heal a difficult fracture. Finally she was out of the cast in time for Christmas. 
from lack of use her leg muscles were weak and due to the long time spent straight in the cast her knee couldn't bend more than a few degrees. But Sushila's new year resolution was to exercise every day and by January end she could bend her knee almost fully back. A month on and it's working 100%, see photo opposite page. Three cheers for Sushila. Yudish Thira said, I have heard that the dung of the cow is endued with the goddess of fortune, Shri. I desire to hear how this has been brought about. I have doubts, O grandsire, which thou shouldst dispel. Bhishma said, in this connection is cited the old story, O monarch, of the conversation between Kain and Shri, O best of the Bharatas. Once on a time the goddess Shri, assuming a very beautiful form, entered a herd of Kain. The Kain, beholding her wealth of beauty, became filled with wonder. The Kain said, who art thou, O goddess? Whence hast thou become unrivaled on earth for beauty? O highly blessed goddess, we have been filled with wonder at thy wealth of beauty. We desire to know who thou art. Who, indeed, art thou? Whither wilt thou proceed? O thou of very superior splendor of complexion, do tell us in detail all we wish to know. Shri said, Blessed be ye, I am dear unto all creatures. Indeed, I am known by the name of Shri. Forsaken by me, the Daityas have been lost forever. Indra, Vivaswat, Soma, Vishnu, Lakshmi Devi resides in Kau Dung an excerpt from the Mahabharata, Anasasana Parvavarana, and Agni, having obtained me, are sporting in joy and will do so forever. Verily, the Rishis and the deities, only when they are endued with me, have success. Yekine, those beings meet with destruction into whom I do not enter. Religion, wealth, and pleasure, only when endued with me, become sources of happiness. Yekine who are givers of happiness, know that I am possessed of even such energy. I wish to always reside in every one of you. Repairing to your presence, I solicit you. Be all of you endued with Shri. The kind said, Thou art fickle and restless. Thou sufferest thyself to be enjoyed by many persons. We do not desire to have thee. Blessed be thou, go wheresoever thou pleasest. As regards ourselves, all of us are possessed of good forms. What need have we with thee? Go wheresoever thou likest. Thou hast already, by answering our questions, gratified us exceedingly. Shri said, Is it proper with you, yet kind that you do not welcome me? I am difficult of being attained. Why then do you not accept me? It seems, Yegober, cow dung, is one of the five sacred items that comes from the cow. The other four are Gamutra, urine, milk, ghee, and yogurt. Creatures of excellent vows, that the popular proverb is true, that it is certain that when one comes to another of one's own accord and without being sought, one meets with disregard. The gods, the Danavas, the Gandharvas, the Pisachas, the Uragas, the Rakshasas, and human beings succeed in obtaining me only after undergoing the severest austerities. You who have such energy, do take me. Ye amiable ones, I am never disregarded by anyone in the three worlds of mobile and immobile creatures. The kind said, We do not disregard thee, O goddess. We do not show thee a slight. Thou art above. A village girl gathers fresh cow dung and after kneading it into a thick dough, presses it into large patties to be dried in the sun and stacked. Later it will be used for fuel for cooking and heating the house. Opposite, gober used as wall decoration. Fickle and of a very restless heart. It is for this only that we take leave of thee. What need of much talk? Do thou go wheresoever thou choosest. All of us are endued with excellent forms. What need have we with thee, O sinless one? Shri said, Ye givers of honors, cast off by you in this way, I shall certainly be an object of disregard with all the world. Do ye show me grace? Ye are all highly blessed. Ye are ever ready to grant protection unto those that seek your protection. I have come to you soliciting your protection. I have no fault. Do you rescue me, from this situation? Know that I shall always be devoted to you. 
I am desirous of residing in any parts, however repulsive, of your bodies. Indeed, I wish to reside in even your rectum. Yet sinless ones, I do not see that ye have any part in your bodies that may be regarded as repulsive, for ye are sacred, and sanctifying, and highly blessed. Do ye, however, grant my prayer. Do tell me in which part, of your bodies I shall take up my residence. Bhishma continued, thus addressed by Shri, the kind, always auspicious and inclined to kindness unto all who are devoted to them, took counsel with one another, and then addressing Shri, and unto her, O King, these words. The kind said, O thou of great fame, it is certainly desirable that we should honor thee. Do thou live in our urine and dung. Both these are sacred, O auspicious goddess. Shri said, By good luck, ye have shown me much grace implying your desire to favor me. Let it be even as ye say. Blessed be ye all, I have really been honored by you, ye givers of happiness. Bhishma continued, Having, O Bharata, made this compact with the kind, Shri, there and then, in the very sight of those kind, rendered herself invisible. I have thus told thee, O son, the glory of the dung of kind. Day patient this month a six-month-old calf was admitted as a day patient, requiring surgery to remove a bone fragment from his fractured front leg. Dr. Lavanya removed the piece, narrowed the wound by suturing and set the limb in a PVC cast. The calf adjusted well to the new cast and returned home after lunch. His owner reports that he is doing fine. Trying out the new leg cast Neela Madhava was born to Samaveda and is her first calf. He is basically white with ginger-colored markings on his head, neck, and back. He is healthy, happy, and energetic. Brajasundari is the first second-generation calf to be born at CFC. Her mother is Rani who was born from Puja during a monsoon rain in 2003. Brajasundari is very good-natured, happy, and in need of a sponsor. Brajasundari Neela Madhvava Bhaitra Marjita was also sent to us by Sadevi from Radha Kund. She suffered an injury which split the muscle wall containing her intestines and now has a large hernia. Dr. Lavanya has determined that it is not safe to perform surgery so we are keeping her separate from members of the herd who may injure her. She is good-natured and is in need of a sponsor. Bhaitra Marjita Varsana Bihari Varsana Bihari was born to Dhavali who is from Kiki Nagla, not far from care for cows. Tavali's owner had told us that she could not get pregnant and thus he did not want her. To our happy surprise she gave birth to this healthy female calf while in the field. To date Varsana Bihari is the first calf we have seen delivered while her mother was standing. Krishna Samadhi 1988-2008 Krishna the Padayatra Ox selflessly served his divine grace AC. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada and their lordship Sri Sri Naitai Gaurajandar in spreading the holy name to every town and village in India life in the street ketosis is a disease street cows get from eating moldy foods found in the garbage heaps. At a certain stage it affects their nervous system and can lead to blindness and motor sensory loss. This young bull was brought to care for cows too late as he could not eat or drink and died within a few days. Brian Devan's cows deserve more dignity. Help us get them off the street. Donate to our land fund. Help raise $500,000 to purchase a home for us if just 1,000 people donate $500 we can reach our goal email kmarupa at carefercows.org visit carefercows.org donate via PayPal or credit card the Care for Cows Clinic is a home for over 100 injured, sick or disabled cows. Help Krishna's abandoned cows in Vrindavan Our deadline is Gaura Purnima March 21, 2008 Madhu with fly catching friend There is a crane that frequently visits our facility and dutifully catches the flies that alight on the cows. This is nature's way of reducing the insect population. The cows send their heartfelt thanks to those who assisted during February 2008 Alessandro Petrezi, Italy Ana and Adassa, Guatemala Anon, Singapore Bonnie Hamdi, USA Bonnie Podoroka, Canada Chaitanya Chandra Ajanovic David Kazanau, USA David Ramella, USA Drav Singh, India Dhruva Maharaja Dasa, India Dominic Bletz, Germany Dilal Bhattacharji, USA Heimwati Greenberg, 
USA Isodi and Adasi, UK J Jagannath Ajanovic Jaya Vijaya Dasa, USA Keetri Waterman, USA Labangala Tika Dasi, India Leah Brown, USA Lisa Cubis, USA Madhava Dasa, USA Manish Vanadaya, USA Manjum Dhadasi, Australia Mariana Polonsky, USA Musumi Sinha, USA Olga Solovi, India Pradai Umna Dasa, USA Pranal Bharath, South Africa Rachel Basarik, UK Radha Jivan Dasa, India Radha Mohan Savaka, India Radha Patti Dasa, India Renee Urek, Switzerland Romit Jadwani, USA Sarah Needs Wiki, USA Swan NG, UK Subramaniam Tambaraja, Malaysia Sunil Singh, USA Suresh Vajiani, UK Tatiana Leonova, USA Tatiana Okatyeva, Netherlands Tom Cotter, USA Umesh Patel, USA Vaninath Dasa, USA Varun Janeja, India Vidyazagar Lakhand, USA Vraja Sundari Dasi, India Wenda Shihada, UK Make Cows Stay In Front Of Me, Make Cows Stay Behind Me, Make Cows Stay On Both Sides Of Me. May I Always Reside In The Midst Of Cows. Harry Bakhtavila 16.252 Connect to Vrindavan by sponsoring one or more of our many residents care for cows in Vrindavan.